Hold on, I do know what is in here. You know what it is. You know what it is, everybody. I'm wearing some of it right now, but I I'm just curious. Good week, everybody. A good week indeed. We're officially one week removed from the Pikes Peak Marathon. And again, I got to make a big shout out to everyone who sent, I think there was at least 30 people who sent in video clips and some more have emerged in my e email inbox. So on your screen right now are some clips that I have not shown in any of the other Pikes Peak Marathon yeah. vlogs. So again, you thank you for that. sending in the clips. You're helping tell the story. And uh, oh, it's just so amazing to uh, be able to share the journey of training, but also of racing without me having actually to carry a camera up and down the mountain. So again, shout out to everyone who sent in clips. Okay, here we go. Full review of another Hoka running shoe. I've been sitting on this shoe for, I think, I think we passed 50 miles about three weeks ago, but life got busy uh, with everything with Pikes Peak anyway. So I have not uh, shown you the full review until now, but first a quick, quick mail time. This arrived in the mailbox today. Hold on, I do know what is in here. You know what it is. You know what it is, everybody. I'm wearing some of it right now, but I, I'm just curious to see what they look like. Hold on, don't, don't tear them. There they are. A one, two, three. Oh yes. Let's see, oh my goodness, I've always said that from Teespring, I think the best thing that they print are the stickers, like, oh, look at those, that is awesome. So, I think we'll put it on the door right here in the shooting, oh yeah, fits perfect. Well, I'll show that to you here in a minute. Okay, let's dive in, full review of my favorite Hoka running shoe thus far in 2020. Thus far is key. There's going to be some more rolling out in uh, really in like in the next two to three weeks. So stay tuned for that. Now, listen, I'll just say right now, it's not the Rincon 2. It's not the Clifton 7, although both of those were very, 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 very close contenders. And this is a shoe that kind of flew under the radar this summer. Actually, I'm realizing it is over on the shelf right now, so you probably already guessed what it is. That's right, it is the full review of the Hoka Torrent 2. There it is, a neutral trail running shoe from Hoka. Uh, so we're looking at a five millimeter drop from heel to toe, 26 in the heel, 21 in the forefoot. A pretty lean shoe from Hoka. All right, you know Hoka's known for a lot of cushion, uh, maximalist shoes. You know, right now, actually, I'm running in the Bondi 7, which I have considered into this uh, decision-making about my favorite Hoka thus far of 2020. And the Bondi 7 does not quite, it's, I, I'm enjoying it, but it's definitely not my favorite shoe uh, from Hoka in 2020. All right, women's size eight, we're looking at 7.5 ounces or 212 grams. Men's size nine, we're looking at 9.2 ounces or 260 grams. And frankly, I, it's been so long, let's put it on the scale, 8.5 ounces in my size. And you better believe I'm gonna compare it right now to the EVO Speed Goat, my favorite trail shoe from 2019. Hoka EVO Speed Goat. Okay, this is what Walmsley wore when he set the course record at Western States in 2019. This is what Walmsley wore. I was down in Argentina um, and filming him could just crush the course in Argentina for the World Mountain Running Championships when he became the uh, world champion uh, when he became the world champion for the long course in this Hoka EVO Speed Go. So this, this is a special shoe right here, but here's the crazy thing. 8.5 for the Torrent 2, and we are looking at 8.6 for the EVO Speed Goat, okay? That is why I get excited so much about the Torrent 2. For the upper on the Torrent 2, there's a lot of good things happening here. I think probably the, oh gosh, the breathability is not the highest on the scale, uh, but I will say I love the, the overlays through the toe box. All right, again, in Colorado, you know, like it's very, very dry here, especially this summer, but I did get into a little bit of rain uh, once on a run about, gosh, it was probably six weeks ago, and this uh, overlay through the toe box did really, really well. Um, okay, heel counter, fairly stout, okay? Pretty stout, actually. So the lockdown in the Torrent 2 is just spot on. Really comfortable through the uh, eyelet chain. I'm gonna say, my only really drawback for the upper on the Torrent 2 are that the shoelace, the laces feel a little thick. 
I think they, they're a little hard to kind of really wrench down a little bit if you really want to dial in that lock-in. So that's my only complaint about the upper is that I think the, the late, and it's a very, very small detail, but I think the laces just are a little thick. Um, I think they can reduce that. And yes, the tongue is semi-gusseted inside the Torin 2. So overall, very pleased with the upper. Um, yeah, no, really no complaints outside of those laces. For that midsole, it's their Pro Fly midsole. That's what Hoka calls it. A classic, you know, EVA Pro Fly midsole, which I found to be snappy at the toe off, okay? I think, actually, I, all right, so today I went three miles, nice and easy, just to remind my legs, muscle memory. It's really critical when doing running shoe reviews. Um, if you haven't ran in a shoe in a couple weeks or in 10 days, just to remind the legs and the feet what the shoe feels like. So I felt very snappy at the toe off in the uh, Torrent 2, 100% through that Profi midsole. But here's the craziness, everyone. Where is it? Well. I'll just grab this one again. I guess this shoe is lean for a Hoka. Keep that in mind. If you love extra cushion, extra um, stack height, like the you know the Bondi Seven, or where is it? The Challenger is, uh, or sorry, the Stinson. Where is the, the Stinson? Is not here right now. I can't believe I forgot to grab the Stinson. My bad. I don't. Uh, anyway, they, I think they're inside, and you know Henry is taking a nap, so we're not gonna go grab them. Bottom line, this is a lean midsole from Hoka and that's kind of why I like it. You still get, all right, let's do the durometer test. You still get that, oh yeah, you still get that Hoka cushion and we are now at 60 miles in the shoe. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. And so you get that cushion feel without a crazy high stack height. Does that make sense? That's why I'm very excited about the Torrent 2 midsole. And onto the outsole, the bottom of the shoe, we've got the marbled sticky rubber marbled sticky rubber through the outsole on the torrent 2 and it did great i mean i think i would run 14ers i did run 14ers but i would run more 14ers in the shoe 100 percent so whether you're doing aggressive trails or i'm just gonna say like all right if you're on a really hard dirt path in you know downtown denver or downtown dallas or wherever i don't know central park or wherever you're running in the in a park i would say like the, this lug depth wouldn't be ideal, but overall, I think this outsole could be used on many different surfaces on, you know, di different trails, whether aggressive or loose, you know, loose sand, uh, loose rock, um, or even buffed out trails. Like I'm thinking of Mount Morrison here in Denver, uh, 100%. So overall, very pleased with the outsole. And after 60 miles, a little bit of wear and tear through the midfoot, through that exposed Profi midsole there. But overall, like the actual lugs on the bottom are looking great. Fit, I went true to size as far as the length, no issues. Maybe, maybe a smidge narrow through the toe box. If you have a really wide foot, you might want to consider getting the wide option or, um, yeah, it's just, it's not, you know, it's a classic Hoka feel as far as through their, their what their toe box feels like from Hoka. And onto that comfort score, not too shabby. Now, it's not as comfortable as the EVO Speed Goat through the foot strike. Just gonna say it right now, but it is a little lighter. It's definitely cheaper. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so that is why the score is just a little bit lower, uh, is because the midsole is leaner, which frankly, I don't know, I, I, a little extra uh, ground contact feel. So if you like ground contact feel, if you like to feel the trail underneath your feet a little bit more, uh, lean toward the Torrent 2, frankly, over any other Hoka shoe, Hoka trail shoe on the marketplace. Positive and drawback, positives, I gotta give two, weight and price. We'll get to the price in a second. I mean, it's just hard to argue against any trail shoe in my size that is under, <laughs> Under nine ounces base is like a really, really solid weight class for a trail shoe. So there you go for the positive drawbacks. Oh my gosh, should I say the shoelaces? I'll say the shoe, like I don't even know what else to say. I'll just say the shoe lay, like overall, just again, very, very pleased with the Torrent 2. For my durability prediction, I'm gonna stick with 500 miles. I'm gonna say that it's probably the upper echelon of where what you'll get out of this shoe only because of the exposed midsole on the bottom. I predict that this, this exposed midsole is, especially if you're running on aggressive trails, all right? How will I use the Torrent 2? Oh my goodness, so tweener alert, tweener alert. Definitely a trainer and a racer. 
Yes, I would use this shoe in a 50K. I would use this shoe in a trail uh, marathon. Now, there are other options out there that are absolutely lighter. You know what I would do? If I was training through a race, meaning I was using a, a trail marathon race to get ready for a 50K, or you wouldn't really do that, but for let's say for a 50 miler on the trails, I would use this shoe to help save my legs a little bit, but still run in a shoe that is really lightweight, okay? So I think this absolutely could be a crossover between training and racing. Oh, even like, like Pikes Peak Marathon. I think this would have been a great option for, um, yeah, if you just wanted to save your legs a little bit, on the downhill sections. And that sweet price point, $120. That is what I'm talking about, Hoka. That's awesome. Oh, I would do, I would do 140. I would do 140 on the Torrent too. I really would, especially compared to, well, where is it? There it is. Especially compared to the price of this guy, which I think at this point it might be 150. I don't even remember actually. So I'll put it on the screen right now for the EVO Speed Goat. Great score for the price point. And yes, the overall score on your screen. We broke into the eights for the Hoka Torrent 2. Um, again, just keep in mind, it's leaner. It's not as cushioned as Hoka's, uh, as a lot of other Hoka shoes, but I like that. I personally, I'd rather have a lighter shoe, more nimble, more ground contact feel while still, while still getting decent uh, cush feel uh, from the Ho from the classic Hoka uh, Profly midsole lineup. Okay, there you go. Oh my goodness! Question of the day: What has been your favorite Hoka shoe of 2020 thus far, and why? I know there's a lot of Hoka fans out there. I know there's a lot of people that you know have never run in Hoka or just are a little skeptical about the high stack height in Hoka. Uh, but maybe head down into the comments if you could explain why that is your favorite Hoka shoe of 2020. I would appreciate it, and I know others would as well. I think soon, probably, we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need a Hoka um, running shoe matrix vlog in the not-so-distant future. I'm waiting for one more pair to show up, I believe, in the next couple of weeks. I think that does it. Uh, I was racking my brain for a minute to remember, make sure I didn't forget anything, but I think that does it. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. I think it is tomorrow, September 1st. Well, I think it is in real time. I think it is, meaning the embargoed shoe is going live. Embargoed shoe going live on the channel. All right, Hoka running shoe playlist right there, right there. Hoka running shoe playlist right there, right there. Onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.